Thank you for opening our link to reveal the results of your germination test. This short clip will explain what we found on our client seed samples and how we report the data on the report of seed analysis. As we take you through the steps that are involved in a germination test, you will note that all samples are tested in accordance with the protocols set out in the methods and procedures by the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. As you know, the official germination test is conducted in an accredited laboratory and it is the first fundamental step needed for establishing basic seed quality. Canadian germination requires testing of 200 seeds in ideal conditions in the growth chamber to ensure optimum germination as there is no stress imposed on the seed. All variables such as light, moisture and temperature are strictly controlled to ensure the only variable is the seed itself. The percentage of normal seedlings that are capable of developing into healthy seedlings are counted. Abnormal seedlings too, that have one or more essential structures that are either damaged or absent, are also noted. And finally, dead or fresh seeds that have no external symptoms of life are cut in half with a scalpel to see if they are viable. Germination, as determined by normal healthy seedlings, is the maximum performance potential of your seed lot and is reported as a final percentage on the report of seed analysis. Testing immediately after harvest is crucial because your seed analyst can determine the full potential of your seed lot. Why is this preliminary harvest germination test so pivotal to quality? Because a germination test reveals many keys to the history of your crop. And for example, in this case, we can determine that the growing season for this crop, especially leading up to harvest, was poor. We have seedlings that are in various stages of growth. We call this uneven germination. And as we have seedlings that are normal and healthy, but are growing at different rates. We also have seeds that appear to have germinated, but have died during the test. These are sprouted or chitted grains. Sprouted seed has been swathed and has been subjected to poor environmental conditions during dry down and curing. Unfortunately, sprouted seed affects quality. It leaves the grain spoiled as the germination capacity has been lost. Sprouted seed is considered undesirable because much of the enzymes necessary for growth have been used up. Normal seedlings possess all the essential structures that are indicative of their ability to produce normal mature plants under favourable field conditions. In this case, we have normal seedlings mixed in with seedlings that will be incapable of growth later on as they are already in a state of deterioration. Also seedlings that have damaged roots due to having previously sprouted in the field. It is important to note that we would recommend sourcing new certified seed as this seed is not stable and the germination will be compromised quickly. Minimum germination grade table requirements are 85% for certified number one on cereals. Any issues noted in your sample will be stated in the comments section of the report of seed analysis. In this case, we would ask you to please refer to our tech bulletins on our website for further information. And thank you for watching.